What's poppin', neighbors? My name is Zach, Hecnotechna, the host, joined here again with my brother Ben. What's going on, Flexers? Okay, today we are going to be talking about Spongebob Squarepants Battle for the Bikini Bottom. Not on the Switch, which just came out, but on the Nintendo GameCube. So, as you can see, we're going to be reviewing this bad boy. Let, let's get in here. And we're just going to walk around. We'll show what's going on. See, see who's here. Alright. So, this is one of the abilities. Pretty interesting. Also, I'm about to go bowling. Boom. Let's go to Squidward's house. His tiki. What do you What do you think of this game, Ben? Yeah, so it's really awesome. This brings back a lot of nostalgic vibes, and I really like in this game how they follow along with the TV series. There's some small hints in here, like when you go to Sandy's. Sandy's place, you can see that Spongebob is like, I need water, has the I need water face, which is really cool. That hooks up directly with what the TV television series was. So I like that. That's good for old fans. Yeah, it's really good. So I also like the the graphics aren't bad for a game that came out in 2003. I mean, we'll go in Spongebob's pineapple and see what's popping in here. Here we go. We got Gary... As you can see, it says your bikini bottom stinks on the screen. Interesting. And there's just, there's a lot of detail. I mean, I remember this from the show. I remember this. Remember this. Here we go. But yeah, it's great. There's a lot of missions. The whole goal of the game is to get golden spatulas. As you see, once the game loads, I have 42 of them. Also, you could trade in 10 socks for a golden spatula as well. I'm going to be talking to my boy Patrick. Yep, lost socks. So we're going to be checking out his place. Kind of bland, but we'll see. We've got Spongebob. we got Patrick. we got that. There we go. That, that's about it. And then now, we will be heading up into Sandy's, Sandy's place. So we go up here, we got Sandy's place, and then we got Shandy, Shady Shores, which Barnacle Boy and Mermaid Man are both there, which is interesting. And just like my brother was saying from the show, you can look at Spongebob right here. He's... He needs looking, water. Yep, he's looking like he needs some water. So there we go. We got that. And then we will be checking out Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. I actually really like these missions. There's the really interesting ones. I mean, they're long. But the core, the stuff you could do. It's just a fun overall game. I love the boss battles. Very fun. So this is Mer uh, Mermaid Man. You have to go under his couch to go to the mission, which is quite odd. Alright, uh, there we go. You can't hit the old people, but <laughs> not ideal. Alright, so we're going to pop over here now. And then we got the police station. We could check out all the enemies. And then we can go to the Chum Bucket. Oh, here's Plankton. This game actually is just about Plankton having a bunch of robots taking over the Bikini Bottom, which isn't which isn't fun. But let's see. This is 75 spatulas to get in here. And I only have 42. So now we're going to be going to... Mr. Crab and his crusty crab. Here we go. Okay, robot free, which means we're about to pop in here and get this dub. What do you think, Ben? This is going to be quite easy. Yep, ready, kids? Let's go. Okay, uh, 
I lost an underwear. It's okay, guys. No need to, no need to harm. Okay, all right, all right. Okay. I love the detail here. Okay. All right, well, I'm just going to accept my failure, and I'm about to skirt out of here. I guess, I guess we'll have to try it next time, guys. Nope, I'm not ready. So I'm about to pop out of here, and then I'll just show you what one of the missions look like real quick. So we go over here, and actually, I don't know. Oh, there's the bubble guy. There we go. Classic. So, yeah, bubble buddy over here. This is... 40,000, right? 40, you need 60 to get in there, you need 50. So I'll just go to a mission, show you guys what it looks like. Um, yeah, so we'll go up here. And then, these things are kind of cool, but when you walk in them, they disappear. So yeah, we'll go to the rock bottom. This also was from the show. You might remember this one. But... They also just came out with the Switch version. It's pretty much the same thing, updated graphics. They also have a multiplayer mode, which is pretty interesting. It's also only 30 bucks, so it's half the price of a full game. There's puffs here. This is one of my favorite episodes with the vending machine. Let's see if I could... Look, I just... <laughs> boom, there we go. See, that's a cool little, little thing they have there. Yeah. And then we also got this. You could also play as... Patrick, you could play as Sandy, you could play as a lot of different people, it's really cool. And, let's see, I'm going to see if I can get over here. Or actually, you could take the box. There we go, so we're about to take the box over here. As you can see, these are quite interesting genders. There we go, interesting. So yeah, this is, this is the game, I mean, very interesting. Those are some enemies over there. If you want me to do a let's play or something, then let me know in the comment section below. So now we will be giving our thoughts and review out of 10 of SpongeBob Battle for the Bikini Bottom. First of all, Ben, what do you think of this game? Yeah, so a lot of nostalgia here. This is a great game to play with friends, but this is a great game to play solo. This game is not that easy to beat, which is nice. It's not oversimplistic and also... This is not a game you could just grind out and beat in one day. There's so many missions, so many small things to complete. This needs to be beaten over like weeks and months. So I like how it's not that easy. So the nostalgia mixed in with the great single player and playing with friends, this is going to be a 9 out of 10 for me. Mm -hmm. I love this game, obviously. Not a huge fan of single player games, but this is amazing. This is my favorite SpongeBob game of all time. It's not even close. I will also give this I'll also give this a 9 out of 10. Absolutely amazing game. I love this so much. So if you guys want to see any more gameplay, just let us know. And as always, catch you on the upside.